Well, the line y equals 1 fifth x minus 1, hmm, is that perpendicular to any of these? Yeah, it's perpendicular to negative 5x plus 9. That's because the slope is a negative reciprocal. It's flipped and the sign has changed. Negative 2x plus 9 is perpendicular to y equals 0 decimal 5x minus 1 fifth. That's because 1 half, or 0 decimal 5, is flipped and the sign has changed from negative 2. Negative 1 fifth x plus 9 is perpendicular to 5x minus 1. Here we flip the 5 and change the sign. Now for all the remaining problems, it really doesn't matter what the y-intercept is. All we're concerned with is the slope. Whenever there's a slope of negative 2, it's going to belong in the column that's perpendicular to the 0 0.5 because negative 2 is the negative reciprocal of 1 half. Whenever there's a slope of 1 fifth, it's going to belong in the column perpendicular to the slope of negative 5 because you change the sign which makes this new slope positive and you flip the fraction which makes it 1 fifth. And all that have negative 1 fifth are going to be perpendicular to the line with the slope 5. You change the sign from positive to negative and flip the fraction to make negative 1 fifth. For m equals 5, the negative reciprocal is negative 1 fifth. For m equals negative 5, the negative reciprocal is 1 fifth. And for m equals 0 decimal 5, the negative reciprocal is negative 1 over 0 decimal 5. And if you do the calculation on your calculator, you'll find that that equals negative 2. Parallel lines. Let's graph the following sets of parallel lines. We need a coordinate plane and some pairs. So we have y equals negative one third x plus one. It's going to have a y-intercept of one and a shallow negative slope. y equals negative one third x minus two will have a y-intercept of negative two and a shallow negative slope. These two lines are parallel because they're drawn directly beside each other and they will never ever touch. y equals negative one third x plus seven is also parallel. y equals two x minus seven is not parallel. But y equals two x minus one is parallel to y equals two x minus seven. And so is y equals two x plus nine. We have three pairs of parallel lines from y equals negative one third x plus one, y equals negative one third x minus two, and y equals negative one third x plus seven. And then we have another three parallel lines from y equals two x minus seven, y equals two x minus one, and y equals two x plus nine. The slopes of parallel lines. Let's compare the slopes. For the first line, it was negative one third, as it was for the second line, and for the third line we can just consider all of the slopes that are the same to be parallel lines. We can verify this with the fourth line, the fifth line, and the sixth line all having the same slopes. Which lines are parallel to the given lines? Again, we're going to set up three columns and we're going to compare three different equations. We're now looking for lines that are parallel. So there's a number of different choices here. Order them in the correct columns, and then when you're ready to check your solution, come back and verify it with us.